today is uh, July 2nd, 2022. Uh, I've been uh, unable to get out here for about a month now, um, and you can see that we've gotten a lot of growth. Uh, obviously, a lot of weeds have come in as well, uh, but that's the way it is. Nicely, this hydrangea in the back here has come in, which is great to see. Uh, I'll be encouraging that plant over the next few years. Um, and you can see how, uh, how dense this really gets when, uh, when no one cares for it. Um, on a regular basis. So you can see a lot of the things have, have really grown in. There's some trash in here, plastic bags and things. I'll be uh, trying to address all this over the next couple of days here, um, now that I'm back, uh, back in action. <clears throat> but you can just see the, the density of, of growth that's come in here. Um, here's some of the, the Japanese iris that we planted uh, earlier this season. And it uh, it's, looks like it's established, which is great to see here. Get around the uh, fire pole blocks here, and just kind of moving along here. I'm showing some of the things that uh, that have grown up over the past uh, past month. Um, many of the early flowers, of course, are gone, um, as you would expect. Uh, they have not survived um, because you know they've just uh, gone to seed now. A lot of the columbine, and so on and so forth. So this is it. Um, but this is kind of midsummer here. We just had a big rainstorm overnight. More rain coming later today, and again, look how dense the uh, the weeds have come up here. You know, two, three foot tall weeds have, have really grown into the space here. And you can see up on the hillside there a little bit more. The daylilies are uh, already opening up some of them, but many of them about to open up. We get a lot of brilliance of color over the next few weeks from them, uh, and then. Just in the back there, you can see those whitish flowers there in the middle. That's volcano flocks. I just got those yesterday, and next to them is a mountain laurel plant. I'll be planting them uh, later today. Uh, I'm out here to do that. Uh, these were contributed by Eversource, the electric company that owns the substation right next door. They had uh, oversprayed their weed killer and killed off some of the plants out here. And so we reached an agreement that they would provide some substitute plants. So I got those with them yesterday and I'm going to be putting them in the ground. I'll do a little video maybe about them in a little bit. Take care. So this is a continuation of July 2nd, 2022. You can see here the two new phlox plants I've planted, which were part of the Eversource, uh, I guess, settlement uh, for killing some other plants. They agreed to buy some plants. I chose these phlox here. Uh, these are perennials. They should uh, grow to be about two feet tall, maybe three feet tall if we're lucky, and spread to about two feet wide each. So they should fill in this little zone right in here. Um, they flower for, uh, for several weeks in the middle of the summer, um, which will be nice because a lot of these other plants are either early bloomers or, or late bloomers, um, and so that'll be nice. Uh, plus this area right in here is primarily uh, weeds right now. I don't have a lot in here that's, that's desirable. There are some early bulbs that come up here for flowers, which is great, and, uh, and the flocks should come in after them. Also, these flocks are, uh, are pollinators, so uh, they'll attract some bees and things of that sort. And then the other plant that Eversource provided today, um, which I've got in the ground here, is the mountain laurel. Like I mentioned it in the earlier video. Um, that is the bush right here. Uh, you can see it here. This is a flowering evergreen. Uh, it's native to the area, um, although I'm not sure this cultivar is native. It could be a crossbreed, uh, but the, uh, the plant the core plant is native to the area, which is great. Uh, that should grow to be about uh, six to eight feet tall, uh, which will help protect out this fence a bit, and it'll grow to be about uh, six feet wide. So it actually will at some point run into the Rosa Sharon here, um, which is a non-native, um, but, uh, but we'll see how they do. Um, hopefully they'll be compatible. Um, the mountain laurel, once established, should be very hardy here. It likes a little bit of shade, uh, it's drought tolerant, so on and so forth. Um, it's just a question of can it hang on for the next few weeks to get established and then go. So hopefully it will. Um, and that is also a flowering plant. It flowers, I believe it's a late uh, summer flower, so we'll add some color uh, at that time. But again, it is an evergreen, so it will stay green all winter long, which is nice. We'll get some uh, color out here and it's definitely very uh, very hardy for the winters so it won't be a problem all right that's it uh, have a good day take care